What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Rome Remastered Let's Play as the Brutio. So to round off up on last time, uh, well, we punished Macedon significantly for losing those battles on the field. We took Larissa and Athens from them, we were making moves towards Corinth, although there is this scary Greek army down here, although I wonder... Oh, I can't bribe them. Is it because it's a faction leader? Ooh, don't like that. Armoured Hoplites, Armoured Hoplites, Cretian Archers, Peltests. Good troops. Starting to pick up some archers from Athens, although we can't pick up any Principes on land for a couple of turns. I definitely want Principes before I push against the Greeks. Although rather they attacked me, to be honest, and I defended them. Okay, let's see if this army can break out can. So now this army can sail north and blockade Athens. This large fleet that's been, that's been recruiting in Croton can now start to earn their keep and is doing great work. Let's hit the rebels and then I can sail them into Thermon and Oh no, I can't, oh, I can't retrain them in Thermon. Nuts. You get into Croton. And let's retrain. Add a unit of Trireme. You're not recruiting anything, so again, keep recruiting Principes and shuttle them over to Apollo, Oppa, Apollonia. Apollonia. Up over to Tarentum. Ooh, Tarentum's grown. Pro Consul's Palace. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to queue up wooden walls after that because they should not still be living behind wooden walls. Now Sajestica to the north. You need to be more military focused so I'm going to get wooden walls and a, just wooden walls actually for now. I'm keeping on my bank balance. And then Salona to the south below them. Let's load up our income tab and if I pick mines it goes up plus What's that? Two, two, four, three. That goes up. I don't know if I get a, a port. God damn, trade goes up a lot. Yeah, port is a good shout for Salona. Let's get trading. Athens is still recruiting. You're building mines. I think everyone is doing something that is useful for doing something. Thermon. Build some more cavalry. Although I'd like better cavalry, really. See, the cavalry stables only gets me auxilian war dog, which I don't really want. Yep, yeah, our capital's expanded, and that was that was Gaul being destroyed. Last turn. Let's hit enter. Merchants are securing the olive oil resources. But if you make moves towards Corinth, then we'll have quite a significant economic uh, economic base. Yeah, and there's a sneaky spy in Athens. North is just a mess. Not looking forward to invading Scythia. Usually it just takes a long time to get places and the places you're attacking aren't worth getting to in the first place. Okay, our faction air can go here and... How does one construct a watchtower? I've got a feeling I can't for whatever reason. Aha, there we go. I mean, I don't quite know why it's not letting me build one. I'm in my territory. Alright, let's go back to the city then. Tarantum, keep growing. 
good. Soon this army will start to start to switch over to cavalry. Croton again, it's also a minor city, but it's going to grow soon. So let's probably get a. What's your biggest unhappiness? Is squalor. So let's get some public baths to help offset the squalor problem. Apollonia has built a port, so now they're rolling in cash, loads of money. Pop growth is pretty good. Okay, let's get a market to keep expanding our income. Salona's building a port, Thermon building a market, although shipwright might be an even better answer. No, let's not okay, let's not go crazy with recruiting, recruiting things just for the sake of it. Okay, yeah, Larissa's, Larissa's still building. Nathens is recruiting archers, which will be valuable. Okay. Got an alert. Senate officers assigned. We've not been picked for any Senate positions. Although I suppose no one is... Well, Skippy I are doing great, even though... I mean, they've. I mean, by howdy, they've taken over this region. They've dumped a load of merchants on it, but they're not actually expanding. Actually, let's check. Make sure we're utilising all the merchants we have access to. Well, I'm pretty sure we are. Some of our territories can't even build merchants. Okay, let's hit and turn. Oh, idle spy. I don't want to infiltrate the city because they will they'll they'll get the plague. Can you guys start to leave the city? Okay. Well then let's pick up some Town Watch and probably leave you know hoplites back. And then you guys march up to the border just to uh, let them know you're there. We don't want to attack because they've got let's move some of those town watch up. Let's move cavalry up to Athens. So we know this guy's been he's been sat here for a while. Let's hit and turn. I mean, yes. Good. I'm okay with my inactive spy. Although, can we leave the city? Kind of, is the answer to that. Well, we can have hoplites can go back. These guys can go back. Just put the city under siege. Should probably, I don't need to use one. But yeah, put the city under siege just to start the clock ticking. Maybe not quite some minutes, but one at a time. Let's not go crazy. Well, we're giving priority of Senate offices next time. Dacia and Germania are allies. They've become client kingdoms. I suppose Dacia is... Is that some and some other territory to the south? Okay, let's hit in turn. We've... Got our Senate objective because I heard all the happy little bells dinging, dinging and donging. Yeah, Macedon spy is going to carry on. Not interested in taking Thessalonica. That's my faction leader. Ooh, two hundred soldiers. Oh, big heavy ships. Okay, yeah, you get out of there. You're probably going to get immediately get destroyed.
I want a bit more visibility over what's going on over there. So, I heard a little emergency. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Their alliance lies in Tatters. Thessalonica's done good. Well, we've blockaded the ports. Let's move well, this guy back into the port of Athens. Athens has chilled out, which is good. So let's pick up a unit of Astarte. You supplement the troops here. Let's send a detachment of Principes south. Tarantum is getting grumpy. So I might pick up one town watch unit just to help perk them up. Lots of our towns don't have governors and that's just simply because we are warring a lot more than we are making children. Take settlement, Kydonia. So that's the rebels down here. Ten turns. Probably... Mm. They got one unit, but the trouble is you never know if there's more nearby. Okay, so that might be an objective for Athens then, to rebuild or to build a small force to go secure Kydonia and get this port built to, to massively increase our trade capacity. So Jessica's built the walls, now you can build a militia barracks. Salona has built her port, so now you can build mine upgrades actually that's so yeah mine upgrades gets us oh like on like from here it says plus 350 although that's probably plus the previous mine and this is on top of that but yeah that's, that's adding an extra 243 a market adds not as much yeah, mine's better. A mine produces more income than a market. But again, a mine, a market might have a, a knock-on effect. Or it will multiply the effects of a port in the long run. But let's get mines. We need to start building some roads in some of our southern cities in Athens. Because, yeah, don't have roads or basic... Basic uh, trading or farming infrastructure. Thessalonica is up for grabs. So then this detachment of Prince Pays may head east to go meet up with my faction leader, secure Thessalonica, and at that point I would be happy to make peace with Macedon. Our spy is inactive, but he's right where I want him, although he can now go in. Faction leader and their factionaire inside. So phalanx pikes and some la some light lancers. Outside phalanx pikes, light lancers, and pelt tests. I mean, I could just push in and Imperical. siege it now, but I like the extra principes. Order. So you're marching south. Okay, let's push our diplomat up here. Because soon. We will not need to make war. Apollonia. Oh, they're unhappy. They are unhappy. Build some uh, town watch. Why are you particularly unhappy? Squalors minus 10 tax. Ah, you don't like your tax. Okay, let's knock the tax down. It's no drama. And watch our friends and allies wander around the map. The Brits have taken Massilia or Massilla. Massilia? Massilla. Julie, I have. I think I said Brits. Didn't mean Brits. Let us now talk reasonably. No. Until next time. Wait, Macedon. Your time will come. Hello, Thrace. What are you interested in? Dear friend. An alliance. Enemies with 
days. Days here, but that wouldn't be bad because it was like there to my north. We're stronger than. Oh, we're evenly matched. We've got the slight edge. Wait, the lines between us were sure. Yeah. It's tempting. Oh, thanks. There we go. We've secured a alliance to the east of Macedon. I mean, eventually they will be our enemy because we'll push up and take Byzantium. But for now, I'm okay with not doing that. Push troops over to Amulus. Push you guys down towards Amulus. Push you guys east. You guys combine. Okay, everyone's building good stuff. Larissa could probably do with... Okay, I'm tempted to go for roads. Actually, no, a port would be a good idea. But then again, money is not something we're worried about at the minute. I'm going to get roads because it'll help contribute towards getting rid of this culture penalty. And Athens may end up getting a similar treatment. Although, nothing I can... Well, I can upgrade the Legion Barracks to get rid of some of it. Line clearance, academy. Hmm. Let's get basic roads, because they're not currently doing anything. They got Amulus over here, with all of his weapons of war. And let's go and hit... Corinth. I mean, I did bring up those principes, but they're not going to be needed for hitting Corinth. They're going to be needed for hitting uh, Sparta. We do, but they're waiting until it suits them. Let's put a siege tower the opposite, either side of the gate, and let's also put a Velite unit here to go sap. Let's put some of our Ecotes over here, probably with another unit of Velites to start securing. Actually, no, I only need one. Because so if I land two units on this section of the wall, one head's left, one head's right. Same with the other side. Yeah, okay, that's good. There's not a lot of organising that needs doing. It's the Skippy are the other side of the, the damn fort. I never like getting battering rams if they've got anything other than wooden walls, because these gates just do too damn much, too much damage with these little chaps up here. The engineers are digging. Soon the walls will come crashing down with the favor of the I mean, I don't think the Skippy are going to do anything because they they've not prepared for a siege, so they're going to rely on our breaking down of the our breaking down of the uh, the walls with our sap. This is a step on the path to victory. Come on, you men, get inside. Good. I was tempted to push up our unit now because they've abandoned this section of the wall. Okay, let's speed up time. So right now it's just a bit of a time-consuming process of our Romans climbing up the gates. We're climbing up the uh, siege tower. Yeah, these guys are immediately going to charge in this... To be honest, yeah, they're going to charge this way to help out 
this unit, if I start fighting on the walls, the other unit is going to push right. Actually, no, you guys are going to push right, because you're going to be the first ones out. Fortunately, at least the pathfinding here works. We can't... Um, there is no true path to the wall, but if you set these guys to get up onto the wall, they will attempt to climb the ladder, or climb the siege tower before that happens. Okay, so you guys push this way to go hit those levy pikes. Our soldiers have captured the walls. There we go. Now Our levies have made. Roman skills have proved themselves Our levies have tunneled under the walls. The, the levy pikeman says victory is almost a certainty. Astarte will take out these pikemen. So that tower is secured. Let's try and get another unit here. Just to secure the wall. Actually, no. That's not needed. You guys just wait. Your turn. So we've got Astarte coming up here. But we also have another unit of Astarte. Whose job it will be to run. To take the other gate. So, on this side... I think I could get away with, once these guys are out of the sap... Are they engaging me? Yeah, they are. I could run in, take, take these guys out and get my Velites up on the wall quickly. a lot of pikemen, so that's why I probably might need a second unit. That's probably where these guys are going to come in. Because the gatehouse is ours, so we can start to... We can start to build our foothold. But these guys I do want to march west to go take out the... take the towers. I mean, Skippy are moving their infantry, but not their general. So this is the advantage of having the gates, because you do get some archery support. So you're doing good chopping down the pikemen. When these guys are out of the sack, my cavalry will go in. They'll take some casualties, but then I can start securing the walls. like you guys, these guys, to uh, you know, they're going to have to charge the pikemen, or they don't really want them to we didn't, well, so I didn't want them to, I just wanted them to be in javelin throwing range so they can do some damage to us in the front but we've got some guys around the flank They're going to put the guys at the front in a bit of a meat grinder. But let's keep... Let's push these men around the flank. So in theory, these units have surrounded those hoplites and should win. Just do as much damage as possible and kill as many of them as you can. begin to march my men towards the square 
fleeing in panic and oblivious to the world. Okay, let's run. These men in. So three units they've got defending the wall. Three units of pikes. If we can manage to kill these equities, or we'll kill not kill these equities, kill these light lances, I can get these velites up on the wall, run my cavalry back out to safety, and get them out there fairly unmolested. Okay, I might have to put another unit up on this tower to start to capture to capture these two towers as well. Uh, where's my Velites? You guys should be. They're on a bit of a suicide run to go and try and secure the tower. Get into the tower. Push up these Hastati. I don't know why they take such so long to just to get. It takes so long just to get in formation and get into a, a building. Okay, let's see if they do. Okay, they're going to start running along the top and along the bottom, which isn't quite ideal, but... They've, those light lances have already broken. So the Velites can take these towers, then we've, start to, we've got a secure base that we can push our cavalry in from. These guys are going to push their way along the wall, but I suspect these units here are now a bit of a write-off. They will not likely get involved in the final battle. Or final battles. These Verdes are just getting shot to pieces. I mean, look, they're just, they're just getting shot. They've got their orders. But they're just going to sit there and reorganise and reorganize there we go finally they've had to lose so many men let's just get my cavalry in they're a bit too sweet the men that have secured the Towers are here. You guys run up there. The cavalry can actually go around the, again, go around the flank or go around the rear. Sorry, this cavalry can get in. This Hastati can try and get in the tower at the rear. Same with these Hastati, really. And my general can get involved. There we go, some good bow fire from our own, from our towers. Yep, Greek cavalry should not do terribly well against these Hastati. They'll do, they'll do okay, because they're cavalry and Hastati aren't great. really do with some of these men making a bit more progress along the wall. 
I mean, they're going to make progress for sure. Like, they are going to kill them all, but how long is it going to take? So I want to be careful of, and I'm happy to let their Hastati march in to take the first blow. What I don't want to know, or experiment with, is what it means for them to take this city first. Light Lancers, General's Bodyguard, Light Lancers. But I'm happy for them to get involved. As long as they uh, take a lot of the casualties. To be honest, my Ecotes can just get involved. These are just light Lancer units. So if I charge an actual unit, okay, they are going to actually push in. As their cavalry gets shattered from bow fire and from cavalry attack. Push my equites forward. Run my infantry in. So now my equites are, have been countercharged. So I do want to get more firepower in the mix. They're going down quick. There they go. Let's make sure I've got some brutii units on the field. I think it was important to try and make sure we get those we get the game to recognize our men were on the field first so even though we that was a big chunk of cavalry to lose it was important to make sure we got our you know we have been in on the in the center all this time general's bodyguard to so make sure we get him Then everyone else gets stuck in. Great God there we go. Praised. There goes their the family member. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Combined victory. I don't like the fact that Skippy I flags. But we it's our flag in the center. Uh where's their Oh don't say it's these guys that are going to slow it all down. There is also a unit... I don't know where he is, actually. Oh god, he's bugged over there! Oh well, the timer's about to end. And I hope to God it doesn't mean we we just lost this this settlement to the to the damn Skippy Eye. Otherwise, they'd be getting they'll be getting such an attacking. God, I can't wait to betray them if they get it. I don't think they will, but that's the kind of thing this game does. That's why I was keen to get my cavalry in. We were the first on the square. Our men were always the first on the square. Okay. Let's enslave once more. And then we have captured the statue of Zeus. Give a plus four bonus to pop loyalty in all settlements. If you guys would like to read that, you're more than welcome. But Corinth is ours. So let's retrain our men with some... 
measure of haste. Let's destroy the shrine to Artemis and replace it with a shrine to Juno. I do like Juno in my big cities because of the population bonus, well, the, the public health bonuses. And now, now we have destroyed you. Oh no, don't want, to, don't want to make peace yet. I want to take Thessalonica. That's a serious amount of cash we're getting in, getting per turn. Tarentum is going to keep building Prince Pays. Croton, you can build a Proconsul's Palace. Suggestica's building Apollonia. It's a captain in the field. Oh, I can recruit mercenary hoplites. Interesting. Well, if I had a general, I could. Then Aulus Brutus, you can. You can also recruit Thracian mercenaries, but I don't, I'm not a massive fan of those guys. But I will get some of these hoplites. Let's combine the armies like this, so then we can push straight in. But I think, while well, looking at the timer, this is probably quite a good place to end it. So, yeah. Episode 4 was important because of sh we shattered the Macedonians in the field. But episode 5 and episode 6, we've blitzed through their territory. So now I'm okay. Well, once we take Thessalonica, I'm okay with making peace. Although, to be honest, we may as well just take Bylazora and knock them out. Thrace is our ally. And I might actually experiment yes. with putting a merchant in Thrace. Byzantium. If they are going to be our ally... Which I'd like to play is thematically yes. It would behoove me to have them as allies because then I could focus on Kydonia and securing roads and maybe even landing them here in modern day Turkey. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.